hi before we dive into the video today i want to just specify on some disclaimers this series in a child magic is only to spread awareness it's not a professional help series so if you're looking for professional help please contact the professionals but on this series we only dive into the benefits of inner child magic and how inner child affects our life our potential and who we can be all of the content in this video is either personal experience research done by me or the studies which i had done in my psychology degree right so these are the things which i collected made sense of connected the dots which i will be sharing on this series some of the content in this series might trigger you which only means that you need to work on those things that are triggering you please be informed that this information that i will be sharing with you is not a permanent solution it is only for becoming aware and acknowledging whether there is an inner child wound or not it is just a reference material to identify if you have lost that magic during your childhood or not this is so important that if you are looking for professional help please contact the professionals available all over the world around you not this channel this channel only is made for the sole purpose of increasing awareness about our inner child and since i am a psychic i am directly sometimes channeling from the divine right it does not have to have logic sometimes because i am not a logical person i'm an intuitive person use your discernment with the content that i give you some might resonate with you some might not resonate with you so take what resonates with you and leave what does not resonate with you because it might resonate with somebody else finally i hope this series helps you come back home to yourself love and light hello gorgeous souls welcome to my channel i am turquoise enchantress here with you today and i am so grateful for your presence here i am an intuitive artist which means i use my psychic abilities to channel the messages from the divine through art tarot writing and content creation on this channel we believe in living in our authentic truth as consciously as possible so we can create magic and be guided back to our purpose if you are interested in evolving emotionally mentally physically and spiritually then do subscribe because i post videos every saturday do not forget to like share comment to show me love and support now let's get into some promotions hi unicorn so if you are interested in knowing more about the magical aspects of inner child magic then i have my first book which i published in 2019 available on amazon flipkart and google books the title would be inner child magic uh, by shravanti batla so if you can find that by just searching that you can do so if not then the links will be in the description below if you are interested in showing your love and support for the work that i do you can also visit my website at www.turquoiseenchantress.com i create acrylic art workbook self-help guides and recently i just published a new ebook which is all about the key to unconditional love or if you're interested in booking a personal tarot reading with me then do check out my website and book your slot the tarot reading i offer are exclusively only available at turquoise enchantress store i also offer customized paintings and uh, gifting artworks for you and your loved ones with love and light so if you're interested in getting for yourself or the ones you love 
then do contact me on my email id which will be again available in my description i also have a podcast where i channel the messages from the divine through poems stories and some channel messages which i feel called to download in messages so if you're interested in listening to something while you're working on your things then do follow me at uh, turquoise academy and if you are more of a visual type of person then i have got you covered boo because i have a tarot channel which is enchantress's tarot the links will be in the description you can also follow me on my socials which are mentioned below to get the latest updates on what am i working on what is coming up on turquoise enchantress and all of that juice now that we are done with our promotions let's get into inner child magic so i hope i'm looking magical for you to know what is inner child magic <laughs> just kidding what is inner child magic inner child magic is a new series that we are starting on my channel and the sole purpose of this series on my channel is to spread awareness about our inner child and its wounds and how we can begin our healing process it is to help people break themselves free from any chains holding them back from being their authentic self and it is also for those who think there is no light in this world to bring some light back into your life before you dive into this beautiful series that i have for you today i just want you to remember this crucial crucial point one i am not blaming disrespecting trying to point fingers at any culture, religion, or way of living. Second thing, I am not trying to trigger you. I'm just trying to help you. Third thing, I am not disrespecting or blaming any parents or their way of upbringing. I'm just trying to help souls become better parents, or let me rephrase that, better humans and understanding emotions and how they play an important role in our lives. This is not a professional helpline for your healing journey. This is a reference series to become aware so you can take the required measures to progress in your healing journey finally i am not judging anyone i am not putting anyone down i have had my own wounds which is why i'm sharing this series because when i was going through my healing journey i wish somebody would have posted more about this inner child work which I really craved for when I was going through my healing journey. So, what are we waiting for? Let's turn lemons to lemonade. In this video, we will be diving into what causes father wound in women. The first reason is that if our fathers were not able to provide a safe and secure place for us to lean on when we were in need of that space, that is, if we couldn't look up to our father for that safety, that support, that protection that we needed as a child, we end up having this father wound. The second reason can be, if our father did not provide us that safe space to be comfortable in our emotions, in expressing what we feel, and giving us that understanding that our emotions matter, we can develop a father wound because we weren't given the emotional understanding, emotional reciprocation of what we were feeling. The third thing which can cause this father wound is if we had to be the parent to our father that can cause a father wound and it can be very painful because someone who's supposed to look after you uh, is expecting you to look after them and you know like as a child that can be very harsh because we are still a child the fourth thing which can cause this father wound in women is that if we had to try really really hard to get his respect or get him to appreciate us or for him to acknowledge that we were worthy 
right if we was very unsatisfied with what is it that we bought into his life that can make us feel that we are unworthy and that can cause a father wound the fifth sign is if your father was very verbally abusive if he used harsh words on you if he criticized you if he belittled you or humiliated you for what is it that you are and what is it that you wanted to be that can cause a father wound the sixth sign is that if your father and you got into a fight when you were young and if he refused to make it up you know say sorry or try to build or rebuild or you know repair that connection with you that can cause a father wound the seventh sign can be if you were spending time with him and you felt more lonely than you were alone then that can you know make us feel like we feel lonely in his presence that can be because of the father wound which has already been caused because of the emotional unavailability towards our needs the eighth thing which can cause this father wound in us is if we had to always prove our innocence to him that we didn't do anything wrong that we were always on the radar that whatever wrong happens it's because you did it then that can cause his father wound because there the kid assumes that the father is not trusting of her and that can cause her not to trust herself the ninth thing which can cause his father wound is if the father figure used to get angry or possessive or controlling over your independence and freedom right if you did something which you felt called to do and which you did not inform them For example let me give you an example here right uh, because this is what i can relate to is that um when i wanted to do something uh for example maybe get into a competition um dance competition let's say right so when i used to give my application form to him my father would uh secretly not send the application and later i would find it uh because i'm a curious person i found my uh, applications in his um computer drawer which was very heartbreaking for me because not only did didn't he accept my desire to be in a competition it also showed me that he did not believe that i could be part of this competition right that it, uh, that he didn't think that i had it in me and that coming from a father figure can cause a father wound within us and the final thing a father can do to cause father wound in their daughters is not having interest in their daughter's likes emotions or life in general right they're least bothered about what is happening in your life how is it that you're feeling and what is it that you're doing but rather they're more like uh, you need to do this and that and maybe not even that right they just are like whatever <laughs> you know sometimes it happens and that can cause a father wound now let's get into what this father wound in daughters in women in general does so what it does is it forces the woman to step into her masculine energy because she wasn't given the proper space and time to express to tune into her feminine energy she taps into her masculine energy right and that is taking control of all relationships in her life she needs to be the dominant figure in the relationships that she engages in she is controlling dominating and trying to uh, always wanting to have it her way or it can be the other way around is that she submits willingly right it's like she does not want to take care of anything because she wasn't taken care of whole her life so why is it that it is different right now so she wants somebody to take care of her which makes us have lack of boundaries it blurs the line between the love that she wants and the self respect and this can lead to the inability to say no to anything that makes her uncomfortable right which is what most of the women in uh my surroundings had when i was growing up is that when they had a father wound they would just surrender to the masculine figure and they, this is because they think that the masculine figure is above them 
right because that wound is causing them to think that way the third thing that this father wound can do is it can make the women feel that they are going to be left alone they are going to be abandoned because of how the father figure abandoned them in their childhood it can make them feel like everybody in life is going to leave them someday so they cling on to it or cling on to the people who are in their lives for keeping them in their life they would go extra measures to keep them in their life the fourth thing is that this woman can attract the same emotionally unavailable men in her life because they are used to that reciprocation of energy where they are the daughters are giving and the masculine figure the father figure in their life did not uh, give them anything right so that is what they are mimicking there is that they will start attracting the same partners in their life who are emotionally unavailable to them and this can cause the woman to have low self-esteem low confidence not believing that they are worthy of love which is why they are always wanting love at the cost of their respect at the cost of sacrificing everything that they like they want their dreams aspirations right they sacrifice everything onto a man because of that need to be loved but even though there is this point where they're sacrificing everything and doing everything to be loved there is the sense of unable to trust the men because the daughter's heart is already broken by the father wound um, in her childhood she is unable to trust other men in her life because she feels that all men are the same they are going to break her heart one day so they attract the same people even even in the friendships right even in the friendship they are friends with people who also have father wounds you know it's it's more like trauma bonding where uh, if you have a father wound you will want people around you who also have this father wound so you can feel in uh, tune you do not feel left out so what it does is it keeps you in that loop of trauma right because you are afraid to be alone and this makes you keep jumping on from one relation to other relationship without having the time to heal from the breakup because you are so scared of being alone this stems from a feeling that we are not enough and we need to get on the next train as soon as possible right and i am not even um going to you know make it seem like it's a small thing because for a woman who is not able to you know stay single in her life is a huge huge sign that she has a father wound or somebody who does not want to get into commitment um, because she is scared of getting a heart broken is a huge sign that there is a father wound which needs healing because my dear you deserve this love right you deserve to be loved you deserve to be taken care of on the other side of the spectrum there can be this uh, codependency issue where you expect other people to do the work for you since your father didn't do the work now you are going to take revenge on every man that comes into your life so you are going to treat them like shit right you are going to disrespect them like how your father disrespected you so this is the abused becoming abuser right so this is um, when the this is for the women who take advantage of men's vulnerability they prey on um, emotionally available men and you know kind of pour in their toxicity into those men too right turning them again into the abuser again so the more you heal yourself the more you are going to heal other people too because hurt people hurt people and heal people heal people and the final thing that this father wound can do is it can push you to the state of helplessness that you feel that your father is a hero despite of everything that he has done you still are still stuck to that idea of that father is supposed to be your savior your supporter your biggest um, 
support system right and you become delusional about the fact that all of the pain that he has caused is because of love when in reality it's stemming from the wounds the inner child wounds that he himself has so i hope you got an idea about what a father wound can do to a woman and how it affects her life now i want to make it clear that this father wound in women is not just about women but in the feminine energy even if you're a man who is very much in his feminine energy and not much in his masculine energy this can affect you too this can affect the feminine energy if you are feeling connected to it it's because your feminine aspects um, resonate with the wound right and that's okay so in the next video we will be diving in on how to start healing this father wound sending you so much love and light namaste